Hi, uh, I don't know about you, but how I personally work in the mix is I tend to roughly get the levels right early on and then much later on I'll put in effects like a special reverb and various things to the bus. And the way uh, reverb works as an insert effect, at least in Reaper, is if you were to paste on some reverb like that, you'd have this nice uh, wet dry mix knob which is useful and it stays at a constant volume which you can hear like this. Now that's quite useful uh, when it comes to using reverb as an inset effect, but usually more likely to want to use it as a send effect, in which case you probably make a new channel and then in there, let's move that to the end, call it reverb, paste the reverb into that and then you're going to take your instrument and then send it to there. Uh, now it's an insert, as a send. So we send that to the reverb and it sounds like this. So as you can hear, the more reverb you add, the louder the sound gets. So that kind of ruins your whole levels and you have to redo them. So there's a way around this uh, that BBC engineers worked out a long time ago. Someone wrote an article about this in Sound on Sound. It's really neat. And I've read the article, figured out how to do it in Reaper. So, OK, you've made a reverb channel. What you then do is uh, we'll just get rid of the, uh, the actual reverb effect. We don't need that in this channel. We'll make another channel within it and another. Right, so the first of these channels has the reverb. The second one, we use this thing here to uh, invert the signal on this channel, which means any signal sent to it, uh, it just gets flipped upside down, much like in the first principle there. And what that does is uh, if you combine that flip signal with the original one, they cancel each other out. So the louder this gets, the quieter the original gets. So, so what we do is make the reverb channel uh, not send to the master bus, but instead send to these two new channels. One and two. OK, so now when we send this instrument to the original reverb channel like this, it won't get louder. So now on your reverb bus, uh, you can send things to it as loud as quietly as you want and they get drenched in more reverb but they don't get louder so your original levels are quite safe which I think is a really neat trick and that's what I'm going to do from now on. Now my partner Nina has warned me that this is possibly a bit foolhardy uh, this is a fine way to muck things up nevertheless I think for me personally this is going to save me time so I'm going to persist with it uh, so, you know, entirely up to you if you want to try this or not. I'm not saying this is like the correct solution for everyone, but it's something that I'm going to try out. So that's my uh, reverb bus trick. <laughs>